Okay, next one here, number three. Uh, find the ratio of the areas of the small triangle, small right triangle to the ratio of the big triangle, okay? Uh, pause this video, you do it, and then I'll do it. Okay, welcome back. So why are these similar triangles? Maybe you already know this. I, I I've, I'm sure you already do. I'll explain it my little way. Um, you got a right triangle. Anytime you have a right triangle and you drop the altitude of that big right, right triangle down from the right angle here, hit this side, you got, you're got you making two more smaller right triangles. Well, if the angles are all the same in a triangle with another triangle, then they're similar triangles, right? They got the same size, they might be the same shape, they might be a different size. And so do we have similar triangles here? Well, anytime you drop that down, then you got a right angle here, and they share, this big triangle shares this angle with this smaller triangle. Well, and, it, and it has a right angle. So this angle is the same as itself. Okay, so in triangle ABH, I've got angle B and angle H equal to one another. And uh, not equal to one another, but equal to the two angles in angle a, B, C, right? I got this angle and a right angle. I got this angle and a right angle. So this angle and this angle are equal. I don't know if I explained that very well. But 90 plus angle B plus angle C equals 180. And then 90 plus angle B plus angle, this little angle, equals 180. So these this angle is congruent to this angle. This angle is congruent to itself. And then... This plus this plus this 90 equals 180. So uh, this, these angles are complementary, right? And, and so this angle here is the same as that angle. So angle A, I'll try to do this in order. Triangle A, H, B is congruent to triangle C, A, B is congruent to triangle C, H, A. Okay, so there's three, not congruent, there's three similar triangles there. Okay, so uh, if we can find the ratio of their perimeters and square that, we get the ratio of their areas. All right, let me, and so also we don't need to find the entire perimeter. If we can have, find the ratio of corresponding sides, then we got the same as the ratio of the areas. Okay, so I don't need to find everything. If you're on a test and you want to save time, let's go ahead and find this uh, length of BC. Then we'll have the hypotenuse of the big triangle, and we've got the hypotenuse of the smaller triangle. And those two are, uh, you know, or, or they, we can find use that ratio. That's the same as the ratio of the perimeters. The ratio of the length of 16 divided by this uh, will equal the ratio of the perimeters of the small triangle to the ratio of the perimeter of the big triangle. Okay, so uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. We got, so we're going to find the BC. So we got BC squared equals 16 squared plus 24 squared. We could also divide this side by 8 and divide that by 8, the similar factor, right? This is 8 times 2, so that we could, we're going to have a, a right triangle that's 2, the legs 2 squared plus 3 squared equals this squared. It's going to be square to 13, right? And that ratio, 2 squared plus 3 squared equals uh, 13, square to 13. So that's 8 times, so 8 times 8, this is going to be 8 squared to 13. Oh. Let's see, I'm not sure you, if you remember that or not. B, C equals the square root of uh, 256 plus 576. Uh, I went ahead and checked these on the calculator to make sure I wasn't messing up. B, C equals the square root of, uh, what is it? I forgot what it was. Uh, eight, 832, I think. And that's got to equal... Uh, that that's going to be that eight squared of thirteen. 
Okay. So that's the length of BC, 8 squared of 13. 13. So the ratio of my perimeters is, because I got this corresponding AB in triangle ABH, corresponds to side BC in triangle CBA, right? So my ratio is a perimeter, perimeter ratio, ratio from ABH to ACB is 16 over 8 squared of 13. Let's go ahead and simplify that. It'll make our next calculation simpler. So this ratio is, you know, divide that. I have 2 over the square root of 13. If you really want to mess with it, you, you know, and get it correctly, you'd have 2 squared of 13 over 13. But it makes it easier to find this area ratio. So the ratio of the areas is going to be ratio of the area. So you just want to find the ratio of the area of this triangle to the ratio to the area of the big triangle. It's going to be 2 over the square root of 13 squared. So 4 over 13. So uh, I guess this triangle is three to a little less than three times as small. If you blew this one up three times, you get the big triangle. Closely, anyways, right? Four times three is twelve. So that's the ratio of the, of the areas. Okay, that's that's all there is to it. In that problem. <laughs>